In my online course, my instructor is asking that I copy the URL for a blog post that I've created for this particular module's e-text reading and paste it into this location so that the instructor can then evaluate it using a rubric um, available within Blackboard. So the first step in this process is going to my blog post and copying the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the tab that I have opened to the blog post I want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and select the address, the URL for this particular posting. And I'm going to copy it. In this case, I am pressing Control C on my keyboard. If you're using a Mac, you would use Command C. And now I'm going to switch back to my Blackboard course site. And I'm going to click on the link for this particular assignment and paste the URL into the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and click in this box under Assignment Materials in this box called Submission. And I'm going to press Control V, which is to paste on a Mac. It would be Command V. And you'll notice that my URL is posted here. Now there's one more step in this process um, that you'll want to do before clicking Submit. Um, and what we're going to do is make this a clickable link. And the way to do that is to select the text. You can either click and drag over it or hold down your shift key and select one end and then click to the other. And then click on the hyperlink icon. It looks like the world. And here in this URL field, I'm going to go ahead and paste in that URL one more time. And um, I'm going to check the box for open link in new window. And I'm going to click submit. And you'll notice now, I'm going to click in this empty space to the side, that my text is now underlined, indicating that this is now a hyperlink. So once I click Submit, my instructor will be able to just click on this particular link and it'll take the person right to my blog posting. So now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click the Submit button. It may take a moment or two for this confirmation to come up, but you'll notice that you have a green affirmation bar across the top that says that the assignment is complete and we can review the submission history if we decide to. So I scroll down, I'll notice that there is the submission history listed right here too. And um, right now, this particular assignment needs grading. I'm waiting on my professor to take a look at this assignment, assess it using their rubric, and then once that's done, um, I'll be able to view that.